police wrongfully arrest 19 year old during traffic stop. That's the title of today's video I'm reacting to by Taven Galankis. And from what I can tell, Taven is actually the individual who gets arrested here and he uploaded the interaction to his own YouTube channel. So he must be pretty confident that it was in fact a wrongful arrest. Hi there. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Good. My name is Officer Winters with the Newton Police Department. The reason I pulled you over is because you have your bright lights on. Yeah, but I have a, a headlight out, so I just keep my brights on. Okay, well that's not legal. Oh, it isn't? No. Yeah, I turn when a car when a car comes by, I turn them off. But like, well, you didn't with me. Oh, you weren't close enough though. You were like you were, close you were while, yeah you were a while back. It has to be within 500 feet. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. And you're not supposed to have your brights on in the city limits. Okay, so already we have a lot of really important information. The reason why the police officer pulled Taven over is because he had his brights on. Taven says that he has his brights on because one of his headlights is out. Remember, a police officer can temporarily detain you if they have reasonable suspicion. Here, if we take the police officer at his word and having brights on is illegal, well, Taven having his brights on and admitting it, it certainly confirms the reasonable suspicion to at least temporarily detain him. Let's see where this goes. My fault, my fault. You got your license registration insurance yeah, with you? Yeah, I got you. Is this your car? Yeah. Okay. Where are you headed? Back home. Where's home? It's right down on... I'm going to move to the other side of the screen so y'all can see Taven. Much better. Are you new to town or something? No. I just noticed you have Adair County plates. The cop stated, my eyes were bloodshot red. <whistles> Those don't look red to me. You live in Greenfield, Iowa. Okay. Where are you coming from? Prince House. Okay. Anything to drink over there? Nope. I didn't hear what you said. Is one of these? You need one of these right here? Yeah, I mean, that's a good start. That's the registration. I just got a new one, so I don't know which one's the old one. Okay. I can totally empathize with this. My insurance department has, like, all my old ones stacked on top. You know, it's something that uh, you you have, but it's it's a pain in the ass to find. You also need both of them. Okay, I'll take this first one here. All right. Got your insurance? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Would it be that white card? Uh, could be. That's one that expired in 21. I got the email version. But that's the All right, that'll work. I'm going to have you hop out with me, okay? Cool. Remember, if a police officer orders you out of the car, you have to get out of the car. So, Taven agreeing to get out of the car is the right decision. Uh, you can probably leave the car off. I bet. I'm going to roll my window up real quick. All right. Do me a favor, put your gum on the on your dash there. Put my gum on my dash? Yeah. Perfect. We're going to go back here, okay? Cool. You don't have anything on you? No bombs, guns, drugs? <laughs> No bombs or no drugs. Okay, let's go back here. I'm gonna have you have a seat in my passenger seat, okay? Awesome. Where are you coming from? Back by, uh, his name is Creighton. It's friend's house. Okay. What are you doing at Creighton's house? We're just hanging out. Do you think this officer has Taven's best interest in mind when he's talking to him? <laughs> no. He is trying to figure out information that he can use against Taven. So far, Taven has only been nice, respectful, clear, concise. Yeah, he took a little long to find his insurance, but that's normal to me. So nothing offends me, yet this cop is still trying to find something wrong with him. The best course of action is to respectfully zip it. Ask for a lawyer. Just get back from college. Okay. Go to William Penn. Okay. Play football up there? Yes, sir. What position do you play? My receiver. Okay. I'm back for the weekend. That's why you're home? Yep. I gotcha. Did you go to school here in Newton then? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Played football here. <laughs> Did you go here? No. You didn't? No. How much have you had to drink tonight? None. What do you mean none? 
I've had nothing. What do you mean none? He means none. When you pulled him over for a headlight, you didn't have any reasonable suspicion to believe he was operating while in, under the influence of any sort of drug or alcohol, yet you keep asking. And I'm not necessarily mad at the police officer. That is their job, which is why it's your job to know your rights, which is why we make these videos. The drink. Okay. Why would you, uh, why would your eyes be watery and bloodshot? I just noticed you have eight air county plates. Yeah. This is another good point. The police are allowed to lie to you. And even if we take this officer at his word and he truly believes these eyes are considered bloodshot, that just shows you the amount of discretion that the police have in making these kind of on-site field determinations. It gets to the point where sometimes it's borderline ridiculous. Do you want to blow me real quick? I don't want to blow you. Plus, <laughs> we'll probably. I'm sorry. Blow me real quick. <laughs> Let's listen to that one more time. I don't know how to react. I don't know if this is funny or just sad because what Taven said is is really not that funny. But what's funny is the officer's response. Anybody with an ounce of professionalism would know what Taven meant. He is literally cooperating. He's in the front seat of a cop car. This has been just thrust on him. And and, and on top of that, he's totally just break. Uh, no, I do not recommend anybody take a breathalyzer test, even if you're sober. But he's, he's already telling you he's willing to do it. And you're making fun of him. You're trying to turn this against him like he's being rude to you. It's... It is funny and is also frustrating and upsetting at the same time. I've had nothing to drink. Okay. So your movements in the car with you fumbling over the registration? Yep. Um, kind of say otherwise. All right. And so does the odor of alcohol coming from your person. Great. Let's, let's do a test. And the odor of alcohol coming from your person. Remember. Evidence, evidence, evidence. What can the state prove? We can't smell through the video. So if this were to go to trial and the only piece of evidence they had was the officer's word that there was a stench of alcohol, then it's a credibility issue. And I'd find a jury very hard find to convict somebody just off of smell. We'll get to the test. I can't wait. So what happens if, you know, nothing pops up? Do you get in trouble? No. Why would I get in trouble? Because you think I'm drinking, but I'm not drinking. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. All right, let's, let's find out real quick. I'm not going to get in trouble for doing what I'm supposed to do. Can I record it? Yeah, absolutely. What's your name? My name is Officer Winters. So Officer Winters thinks I'm drinking tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have a lot of respect for Taven uh, adamantly and confidently um, asserting that he is completely sober, which leads me to believe he probably is completely sober, but um, you still shouldn't antagonize the police. You still shouldn't talk unnecessarily because um, literally you can just give them one piece of information and they can turn it against you. We're about to do a test and he's going to find out I had nothing to drink. He's going to look stupid. Ain't that right? All right, so let's go up on the sidewalk here and I'll talk with you up there, okay? Cool. All right, so I'm gonna actually have you stand uh, right here, it's fine for now. I'm gonna have you stand with your heels and toes together, with your arms down to your side, okay? I'm gonna check your eyes, cool. okay? What I want you to do- So what they're gonna do right here is something called the gaze and astigmas test. Basically, they're gonna put the finger in front and they're gonna track the movement of the eye up and down, side to side. What the officer is looking for is some sort of eye oscillation or jump movement because if you're intoxicated your eyes can't track smoothly the problem with this is it is very discretionary it is nighttime it is snowing slash raining the police officer might have had a long day he's not an expert he's not an ophthalmologist if you submit to these tests the police can just say yeah, yeah i saw your eye jump you're going to jail and then furthermore, if you're someone like me and I got a lazy eye, if I ever did one of these tests, the police officer would say, hey, look, your, your eye drifted. Yeah, no, no sh you chew. Can you see my finger clearly? Yes, sir. Okay.
Looks pretty smooth to me. How many more we got? Uh, this test is about two minutes long. Get some big fingers. You play football? I did. What position? D tackle and right tackle. Here? Nope. We're at Knoxville. Oh, we, we just beat Knoxville big time yesterday. Yeah. Didn't when I played, though. Yeah, okay. What year were you? Uh, 2012. You played college football? Too many concussions. You want me to start the point? Yeah. Okay, so now the officer has Taven doing the nine step turn. So nine steps, heel to toe, 180 degrees back, nine steps, heel to toe. If any of you guys try to do this, it is extremely hard. And having your arms out to the side, wobbling at all is an infraction. And in theory, uh, is a sign of intoxication. Try to do that sober, try to do that at night, try to do that in the rain, in the snow, uh, on an uneven surface. And yeah. It's hard. So you want to get to nine. So there's some confusion. Tell me when I get to nine. I thought he was going to tell me when to turn. And the fact that he didn't comply is a sign of intoxication. I'm sorry. These instructions are sometimes very complicated. The dude is literally being interrogated by the police. You can't blame him for taking some ambiguous directions and messing them up. Improper turn. Heel toe. Heel toe. Come on, man, it's too easy. Let's do the breath now. Be two for two. Dude. Taven, man, I'm trying to be on your side. Don't antagonize this guy. Yes, you are in the right, okay? But just, please, please. Well, sir, I don't believe you are two for two. How many steps did I say to take? Like eight or nine? I said nine. Why'd you take 14 and then 15? I thought you were going to tell me when to turn. I said to count your steps out loud. Um, so the next test is I want you to stand with your heels and toes together. Stand right here in this flat part. God, you a rookie, bro. Okay. I want you to stand with your heels and toes together with your arms down to your side. Is this the first year? No. No way. No. No way. When I say begin, I want how you many, to... How many false accusations you got? Zero. It's about to be your first. Mm, we'll see. <laughs> um, what I want you, you know, to do... He knows it, too. He knows about the passage. What I want you to do when I say begin is raise either your left or your right foot, whichever one you want and raise it approximately six inches off the ground and keep it parallel to the ground, okay? Perfect. It's gonna look something just like this. Your toe, keep your arms down your side and count out loud in the following manner. Repeat the directions. From where to where. So you said six seconds, hold it up? Nope, you're gonna hold your foot approximately six inches off the ground and keep it parallel to the ground. Gotcha. Do you have any questions? Nope. You try doing that right now. Pause the video, try doing that without any wobbling. All right, during this, keep your arms down to your side. Why are you shaking so much? It's freezing, man. Look at you, you got all these clothes on, and I got shorts on, and it's raining. And that's reasonable. And you're being interrogated by the police. They, they're they both kind of making me mad. And you false accusing me, so of course I'm going to be a little nervous. Reasonable. Yeah. Very reasonable. Yeah, nothing to say. Exactly. Questions? Look, you in pants. I'm in shorts, and it's raining now. I wear shorts when it's 30 below. Congratulations. Questions about the test? Nope. Okay, if you don't have any questions, you may begin. Keep your legs straight. Is that six inches to you? Mm -hmm. Yep. How did I tell you to count? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. I almost forgot how you told me, but you're doing this pretty well. You're still going to switch. It's getting pretty cool now. It's ridiculous. Okay, you can relax. I got one more test for you. I'm gonna check your eyes again, okay? All right. I'm gonna go in a circular motion around the outside of your face, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna come yeah, in towards it, the bridge of your nose, but I'm not gonna touch to your nose. And, and make sure. Well, me too, man. Give me a little blow. I will. Little zeros. I will here in a minute. They're gonna. They're gonna tell me. Who's supervisor? You're looking at him. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Rookie move. Rookie. Don't move. think so. So. I, I um, just follow my finger with your eyes and your eyes only, and don't move your head, okay? Gotcha. You want me to cross my eyes or what? I want you to follow my finger all the way in. His eyes are moving pretty smoothly to me. Why do you assume? Uh, because I'm 
because you're showing some very strong signs of impairment. Am I? There's a little bit on the uh, very side of the paperwork. You're not smooth. I mean, that was kind of nervous. That's a telltale sign. That's what's really on here. All right, what I want you to do is make a tight seal around this and blow outwards like you're blowing up a balloon, okay? Cool. All right. You ready? Yep. Okay, you can relax. Um, so I'm going to read you Miranda, okay? When's the, right now you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney if you cannot afford Look at that. 0.0. 0. 0. While it is true, you can blow a 0. 0.0 and still get a... DUI, because a driving under the influence is not exclusive to just alcohol, it can be weed, it can't be other types of drugs, but uh, Taven here looks pretty damn sharp. He is articulate, he is athletic, he is responsive, he is overly cooperative, yet he is still being taken to jail. This will just show y'all that no matter how nice you are, no matter how cooperative you are, if they have it out for you, they will take you to jail. So the best course of action is to zip it. Ah, God, this, this officer is such a YouTube. <laughs> When's the last time you smoked weed? I do not remember that. Tonight? Oh. Okay, well, I, was, no I, weed tonight, I think right? it's tonight. I've had no weed tonight. What? Why do you think it's tonight? Why do you think I smoke weed? I blew zero, so now you're trying to think I smoke weed. That's what's going on. You can't do that, man. You really can't do Absolutely that. Absolutely, I can. So he can do that. He has every right to do that. And that just shows you how much discretion they have and how much talking does not help. Is he allowed to do that? Yes, he is. So I blow zero and you just take drugs, man. That's what we on? I blow zeros. So you think I'm on drugs? That's ridiculous. I would. My, during my field sobriety, I, it is indicative of impairment. So let's 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 be honest. I'm being honest. You smoke like some I, weed at your friend's house? No. You hit a pin? Nope. Can okay. otherwise? All right. And so does the odor of alcohol coming from your person. That's a great point. He's changing. This cop has no credibility. This will never hold up in court. This is YouTube. YouTube. Why is your field? Why is your field sobriety so poor? What? Why? Because it's freezing. It's in the snow. It wasn't that poor. He did better than 99.9% .9 of YouTube. Everybody. God. Why is your field sobriety so poor? And why are you so lethargic and slow moving and speaking with a slurred speech? And your eyes are watery speech. and your eyes are bloodshot. You know why they're watery? Probably because we're in rain right now, dumbass. Uh, it doesn't affect them in the car or in my car. Well, I don't know what you're seeing because I can't even see my eyes. No weed, I don't smoke weed. I play college football, I told you that. We get tested every Friday. Okay. Don't smoke weed. Today's Saturday. Okay, it's 30 days. Weed stays on your shit for 30 days. So if I did a test next week, I'd be off the football team. Dumbass. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Look, you're not making it easier, but also this cop totally has it out for you, and you know, you're getting arrested anyway, so you might as well get some good jabs in. So I'm not, uh, I'm not condoning this, but it's making a good YouTube video. But I think you're impaired. I think you're under the influence of You think of I'm impaired? Yes. Well, I'm not. Okay. Do you, uh, do you want to talk to another officer? Yeah, yeah, get him over here. Do you want to do a drug recognition evaluation or a drug influence evaluation? What's that? Uh, there's an officer who checks your blood pressure, does a whole bunch of tests, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Can I call my parents or something? Can I call my mom? Can I call my mom? Can I get in target? Here's my situation. I stopped this guy for having his brights on. I got six with me too. Um, he's He fumbles around with his uh, registration three, four, five times. He... Uh, um, he bombed sobriety. LOC is present. Finger to no. He bombed sobriety. Are you f you two kidding me? He. I asked him. I said. I read him Miranda. I, PBT triple zeros. Um, so he he says he'll do an evaluation, but he's kind of a smart ass. You're a smart ass also. Would you want to talk to him or? All right. That's what we'll do then.
Okay, but I obviously have enough for, to charge him with the sobriety, so... I have enough to charge him. The sad thing is, is on its face, that's probably true because the initial probable cause determination can be made just from a police officer's report. And in this report, the police officer is going to say that he bombed the field sobriety test. The problem with that is this officer has zero credibility. There's no way this will be a conviction Absolutely no way. And then furthermore, in retrospect, when everybody analyzes this particular probable cause determination, they will see the totality of everything and say that this police officer is full of future. And there might be consequences for that as well. And I say potentially because suing a police officer or police department is really hard. Police have qualified immunity. And on top of that, obviously, they're given a fairly large range of discretion to make these kind of determinations because that is often needed to do their job correctly. But when you have a bad actor like this, um, sometimes that um, overarching discretion range gets lumped in and it ends up protecting them and it falling under uh, qualified immunity. And as my criminal law professor used to say, it taint fair. This is total YouTube for Taven. I'm sorry he's going through this. Absolutely, I think he is no way should be arrested. It just taint fair. Um, I spoke with the drug recognition expert and he said that he's willing to do a uh, drug influence evaluation on you. Um, we would have to go up to the PD right now? Yep. I don't want to do that right now. You don't want to do it right now? Uh, Why not? Because you had me out in this damn rain. For we would go to the PD where it's Why well, do you want to do that? Maybe he doesn't want to go to the police station. Bottom line up front, uh, we're going home tonight, okay? I don't think you're, I have no evidence or no information to suggest that you're under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Thank you. You know, I, Officer Winters is a very talented officer. I wear shorts when it's 30 below. <laughs> if, if wearing shorts when it's 30 below is a talent of uh, any sort of skill, um, uh, yeah, I'm sure this police officer is great. When he does, he's very good at these. Um, right now you're being placed under arrest for operating while intoxicated, okay? Um, he does the same ones I do, the same way I offer them to you. Is he still here? Yeah, he's around here. Can I talk to him? If you want, um, I was just going to take you home. Okay, yeah, I just, just want to speak to him. One on one? Yeah. Guys, oh, please, don't do this. We're going to watch and it's going to be great. I know it is. But if you find yourself in this position, just go home. Go home. The sweet vindication is probably not worth the, you, 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 you messing something up and getting in trouble again. But is it going to be great? I hope so. Hey, buddy. What's going on? So, uh, I just want to know, like, how does it feel? How does it feel for a while? Remember I told you when you first pulled me over? I had nothing to drink. He's going to look stupid. <laughs> You're like, you're impaired. You're on drugs. You drink alcohol. Turns out I'm not on any of that. Okay. Really dumb decision by you today. I'm really disappointed in how you can't bite your jaw. I today. based my decision on your field sobriety tests. Was it really failed though? It was, it was pouring outside. It was terrible yes. cement. Okay, but like, I said, I'll blow right away. I do everything. But there's up. also steps that I have to go through. Did you really thought I was drunk? Uh, the way you, I first spoke with you and your movements, I believe something was... <laughs> That's crazy, man. Was, was this I, your first false accusation? No. You said it was... I've been wrong many times. <laughs> I can tell. It's terrible. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Taven. Oh, my God. I hope you do better than that. Next, next time. time, I would recommend asking for clarification. If you don't understand something, ask. But I didn't need to do all this extra. Okay. Well, that's <laughs> why we offer the test to you. Is like I'll, you wasted my night. Three hours. Was it three or two hours? I don't know. We can't. We can't have this happen in Newton, man. I love Newton. Okay. I want you to do a better job than that. Okay. <laughs> okay. As I'm a citizen here, I love Newton cops. You like you're probably a good guy, right? You're probably a great Try guy. And 
I'm a good guy. I don't have any record, and you do that to me. Like, there's other guys probably out in Newton right now, breaking the law, actually breaking the law. Like, not over. I'm not saying there's not. You, you waste your time with me, and there could be someone's mom could be getting killed or not. You don't know. The Star Wars graphics are hilarious. But we just gotta do better than that. We just gotta do better than that. I deserve a apology. Okay, we can all agree Taven is a legend. He's a legend. There's no other way around it. But you should not do what Taven did. 99.9% .9 of the time, it is best just to assert your rights by asking for a lawyer and zipping it. Is it hilarious? Absolutely. And is Taven a legend? Yes. And should he come on this channel? Yes. Open invite. Please, we will make a video about this. If you like that video, I launched a channel just dedicated to attorneys reacting to real life situations. It's called Attorney Reacts. We have a whole bunch of great attorneys there. Go check it out, link in the description. All right, bye.